I would love to talk about your, you know, experience with your career and college, you know, what have you learned since becoming a coach that you wish you would have known as a player and what's some advice that you would have for young players coming up in baseball and softball? Um, what I've learned as a coach that I didn't know, like, um, you know, it's, as a coach, starting off and coaching at the lowest level, you know, it's, 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 it's coming full circle. So here you are for 16 years, you start at the lowest level, kind of chip away and you work your way up, you get all the way to the major leagues. And then I had, a, I had a coach named Chino Karahia who probably impacted my career as much as anybody, but he goes, George, when you start coaching, start at the bottom. Didn't quite understand what he meant by that then, but when you start at the bottom, it allows you to fail and fail with like not as many regrets. And uh, so that's how you learn, you know, you know, like a lot of people say, you know, fail, failure is the first step to, 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 uh, to success. Um, because if you're doing something correct over and over again, you're never gonna progress at it. So once you start to fail, like, wow, maybe doing it this way is not the best way to do it. And then you learn, that's what we've learned so much in baseball, the hitting has completely changed, pitching has completely changed. And, we had been doing it for, so, you know, this one way for so long, but does that make it right? So at the end of every year, you want to analyze and go over, like, is my process correct? Do I need to find new ways to do this? And um, so as you do that in the minor leagues and, and, and learn to chip away, uh, that's how you can get, get progress. And, and then the, the, the trust factor, um, I mean, one of my most difficult moments as a coach was, you know, losing, losing the trust of a player. It's very difficult to earn it back. So, uh, but like I said, I, I learned from that moment. I hope it never happens again. Um, and it's going to make me a better coach because of that. I, I joke around with Mookie. I was Mookie's, uh, Mookie's first manager. So I was with the Red Sox. I can remember the day he walked through those clubhouse doors uh, in professional baseball. And he went out to proceed in his first game and, and make a couple errors at shortstop and, so we had to pull him in and talk to him and he was trying to, you know, make up uh, 10 at bats and, in uh, one, one inning. So it was, it's fun to watch, but over the next four or five years, I could pretty much tell Mookie to do whatever and he'd believe in it because there's that trust factor. So then you get to the major league level and you think you automatically have that trust, but looking back that took four or five years to get like that. So there's not a whole bunch you can do to speed that process up. It just happens organically. So it takes a lot of patience and time to, to do that. There are exercises, bonding exercises, spending time with them, and, and just obviously being a better listener helps you gain that trust with these players.